first transit line. The B. Geary electric streetcar ran down here in 1912 and has long been one of the highest ridership surface transit lines in North America. This project is designed in its small way to help with the healing and to help restore the connectivity between Japantown and the Fillmore. And we're glad to see Gary improve for pedestrian safety to meet our Vision Zero goals. So making Muni more efficient, making our streets more safe, building bridges, this project did it all. So now we got Japantown, we got St. Francis Square. Something we never thought could happen slows down the traffic, so it's safe. We need to deliver these projects quickly uh, for our community, and I know MTA and our Transportation Authority are working hard on that. Now this corridor does pass through five different districts from the bay to the beach, uh, reflecting all the different diversity of our city, and that's what you see on the bus. It's really true, the APTA saying, that where transit goes, community grows. The Transportation Authority was very proud to have provided over $13 million uh, in half-cent sales tax funds, uh, as well as Prop Double A vehicle registration fee. This is all part of the Western Edition. This little sister was killed right here on Fillmore and Gary because she ran across the street. So it made me think of her today and being here, and I just want to thank San Francisco for remodeling this bridge and doing all of this because we do need safety here at this intersection. And that is why pedestrian safety was such an important element of this project. So just a couple numbers. 34 new pedestrian bulb outs, seven new or upgraded crosswalks, nine intersections with median improvements, as well as new pedestrian countdown signals, longer crosswalk timing, the number of total travel lanes from four to two general purpose lanes in each direction, and of course one bus lane in each direction. For the first time in five decades, allow community members to walk across the street between Japantown and the Fillmore and of San Francisco. And I also wanted to share a story today about one Geary Corridor resident whose life has already been improved by this project. Lou Grosso is with us here today. Maybe Lou, you can stand up or wave. Thank you so much for being here. Lou is blind and lives just across the street from where we are gathered now in St. Francis Square. And he is enthusiastic about the new crosswalk installed just down the stairs from the Peace Plaza at Buchanan Street that connects St. Francis Square to Japantown. His mobility instructor had previously told him that he was forbidden from crossing Geary because it was just too unsafe and the Webster Bridge was not an option for him. But because of all the safety improvements and with excellent training from Lighthouse for the Blind, Lou can now cross Geary on his own and make it all the way to the Calvary Church. Thank you so much, Lou, for your service on the committee, and thank you for letting us share your story. So thank you all so much for being here. Congratulations on this wonderful project.